Hey everybody, it's Thy Laughing, and today I'm going to bring you just some riddles. Those, those of them have been watching my Pokemon Rejuvenation playthrough. I've been given a riddle, a riddle of the day for each episode. Uh, but what I've done, I've actually come up with so many in my spare time. I've actually got a bit of a surplus. So what I'm going to do is give you a separate little video clip here, um, and I'll present you with five um, riddles to unscramble. So, uh, it's going to be a slightly different format to before, because what I was doing previously was giving you the riddle and then giving the answer on the next episode. What I'm going to do this time, I'm going to give you five riddles, and then I'll give you the answers at the end. So, without further ado, let's get the first riddle up and I'll explain how it all works. Here is the first riddle. It is, you may get charged by switching the game. Current balls may leave you dead, swift but static, a blur of white and red. Now you'll notice um, that I've got points there, four points. So it's not enough just to get the right answer, you'll score one point for that. You will also score points for unravelling all the references and hidden clues within the riddle. So for example, I'll be giving you half a point for all the obvious traits of the Pokemon. For example, I might be describing the Pokemon's physical description, its colour, uh, it might be to do with its abilities, its typing, its weaknesses, any traits like that. The more difficult ones you'll score a point for, the more obvious ones you'll get half a point. So I reckon there's probably enough in this one for four points. Lots of little half point references, plus a point for getting it right. Oh, and one more thing, I do like an anagram. Um, quite often you will find an anagram hidden of the answer within the clue. So if you get that, if you spot that, that'll score you a point as well. Uh, and because I'm going to be giving you the answers at the end, uh, please don't put any answers in the, in the comments below to act as spoilers. By all means, brag about how easy it all was and how many points you scored, or give me stories about how you took on your mother and it turns out that she was a, a Pokemon nerd and thrashed you. So stuff like that's okay, but don't give any answer to the bottom because I'll be giving them uh, later on. Okay, so that's the first one. Uh, obviously, if it takes you more time, it probably will take some time, especially the later ones. Just press the pause button, give yourself as much time as you want. It's not an exam, it's just a bit of fun. So there's the first one. I'll be switching to the next one in a couple of seconds. So put the pause button on now if you need to. Hi, riddle number two. Here it is. A whiter log in ashes for the pup to play with. Tigerish hot temper. My bite is worse than my bark. What Pokemon am I? So I reckon that's probably worth three and a half points. Looking at all the little bits and pieces in there. So have a little think about that. Delve deep and see what you can come up with. Press the pause if you want to look at it for longer, because we're going on to Riddle 3 now. Hi, moving on to Riddle number 3. Here it is. He's a djinn, but has no gender. Say hello to the spirit of wonder. I need space to transform and form the guard. We're all sorts in this one, so I reckon it's worth four and a half points if you get all the little bits and pieces. So good luck with that one. Have a little thinky. Press pause, of course, because we'll be moving on to riddle number four. Now, riddle number four is a beastly little scale number of three times six with plenty of pattern. I'm full of powder tricks. What Pokemon am I? Three and a half points, I think, for this one. So scratch your heads. Easy peasy. I'm sure everyone can get that straight away. And stand by for the last one, riddle number five. Now. Finally, riddle number five. Here it is. The embrace of a river god may lead to a trace of confusion. Primary pink moves and perhaps a vision of the future. What Pokemon am I? And that one's worth four and a half points. So think hard, think well and see what you can come up with. Right, stand by. Um, pause, obviously, if you want to have more time to think. Uh, the answers will be following straight away. So here we go. It 
Hey guys and gals, time for scratching of heads is at an end. I'm going to give you the answers and more importantly, how you can score the points uh, by unravelling all the little clues within each riddle. So the first one was fairly straightforward, I would have thought. The answer I was looking for was a vault orb. And there is the little angry looking devil. So why is it that and how can you score the points? Okay. Obviously, you score one point if you get Vault Orb right. Well done. Switching the game. Now, that refers to the game of Vault Orb Switch that you can play in most game corners in Pokemon games. So if you, if you spotted that, that'll score you one point. Um, charge and Current are obviously references to electrical typing. So you'll need bo both of those to get yourself a half point. Ball and Red and White is a physical description of what the thing looks like. So you need both of those to get another half point. Swift is a move that the Pokemon can learn. And also it refers to the speed of the thing because it's a pretty speedy Pokemon. So half point for that. And static, another electrical reference, but it's also one of its abilities. So half a point for that. So I think that lot adds up to the four points if you've got everything right. Um, so there we go. Right, I'll move on to the next one. Ready ho, riddle number two's solution. The answer I was looking for was a Growlithe. Now, one point for getting that right. Another point if you spotted the anagram of whiter log in ashes. Obviously, you make ashes of that word. Break it up and put it together again, you'll get a Growlithe. Um, it's also the pup Pokemon. It's a description of it, and tigerish is the way it looks like. So they're two physical descriptions of what it looks like. So half point for that. Um, hot temper is a reference to its fiery type. Hot temper, fiery temper, fire type. So half a point for that. And bite being worse than my bark, that will be another half point because they're again just descriptions of its trait. Uh, if you if you read the descriptions of that Pokemon. Um, it barks and it bites. So there we are. That's our little Growlithe for that one. There he is. Okay, carrying on with the next one. Righty ho, here is the solution for riddle number three. The answer I was looking for was a Shedinja. Lots and lots of references to this one in here. Obviously, you get one point for getting the right answer. We have an anagram of he's a gin. So rearrange that to get Shedinja. So that scores you a point. So it's a point for that, point for that. It has no gender, so that's a half point. Halo, there's his little halo, half a point if you spotted that. Spirit, it's a ghost, half a point. Wonder Guard in the clue, I'll give you half a point for that because it's the only Pokemon with that ability. And in order to get a Shed, shed Inja, you need to have a space in your party. So, it, it, yeah, so you need to get that to get extra half point. So I think that's all that lot for there, quite a lot. Stand by for the solution for number four. A solution for riddle number four. A beastly little scale number of three times six. Well, this is a bit tricky. It's not 36 I was looking for. Three times six, I was looking for 666. Three sixes. And if you look at the Pokédex number for 666, you will find... Pavilion. A little clue there. It's number of the beast is 666. Just to give you a hint, I don't know if it helped, probably not. <laughs> so there's a pavilion. Um, so obviously if you got the pavilion, one, uh, a point for that. If you managed to work out this Pokédex number was 666 from the little clues there, good luck. Uh, it was one point for that. It's described as the scale Pokémon, so half a point for that. Uh, plenty of pattern. Well, that describes its trait of changing patterns depending on its geography. There's loads and loads of different patterns for Pavilion. And Powder Tricks, it basically learns all the power moves, sleep powder, poison powder, etc, etc. And there she is, just to have a look. Aren't you beautiful? So there we go. So good, good uh, if you got all that right. Three and a half points. That was quite well tricky. So stand by for the last one, number five. Right, the final one, riddle five, the solution. I was looking for a Gardevoir. A few hints in here. Now, there's obviously a bit of a trick. Um, 
I was trying to fool you with the river god, trying to make you think it was perhaps some sort of water type. But in actual fact, that's why I put leads to confusion, it is in fact an anagram of a river god, Gardevoir. So you get one point for Gardevoir, one point if you've got the anagram of a river god. It's described as the Embrace Pokemon, so you half point for that. Obviously, Trace is its or one of its abilities, so half a point if you spotted that. Confusion is one of its moves, half a point. Primary Pink moves refers to Fairy and Psychic type moves, so again, you got half a point if you got that. And a Vision of the Future refers to Future Sight, another of Gardevoir's signature moves. So if you've got all that lot, four and a half points. Okay, so that's that lot done. Uh, what I might do is, if I find I've got um, another surplus of, of um, riddles, I'll give you another five, perhaps in a week or so's time. So I hope you enjoyed that. I did. So, yeah. Catch you later.